Milk, and welcome to my Frequent Friday the Twins. Yes! entitled The Twits, featuring first the funny, fantastically fit, mirthful monarchs of monkeydom, the Muggle-Lumps. <laughs> Next, my friends, please welcome in a fabulous formation of feathered flight to the Belgrade Super Circus, Fantasy of Birds. <laughs> now, prepare to meet our special guest star, straight from the map exotic African rainforest, the colorful, charismatic, roly-poly bird. <laughs> now it's time to meet and greet the stars of our show. Be prepared. They're shocking. They're silly. They're stupid. They're stupefyingly soppy. They're... Get ready for the one and only, thank goodness, the Twit. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our story begins away from the glamour of the circus. Far, far away. The Twits lived in a caravan. The best word to describe them was... disgusted. Mr. Twit was a very hairy-faced man. His thick, spiky hair stuck out straight like the bristles of a nail brush. The stuff even sprung out and revolting tufts out of his nostrils and ear holes. My hairiness, saw Mr. Twit, makes me look terrifically wise and grand. But in truth, he was neither, neither of these things. Mr. Twit was a twit. He was born a twit. And now, at the age of 60, he's a bigger twit than ever. How often, you may ask, did Mr. Twit wash this bristly, nail brushy face of his? The answer is never. Not even on Sundays! As a result, there are always bits of old breakfasts and lunches and suppers sticking to the hairs. Dried up specks of gravy, spinach, tomato ketchup, fish fingers? Mixed chicken livers. If you delve deeper still, hold your noses, ladies and gentlemen. You discover stuff that had been there for weeks and weeks. A piece of maggoty green cheese! A moldy old cornflake. <laughs> or even... The slimy tail of a chin sardine! <clears throat> <laughs> Mrs. Twit was no better than her husband. You ugly old hag! Ugly, yes. Not born ugly. But when she was younger, she had quite a pretty face. But she had ugly thoughts every day of every week of every year. And so her face got uglier. And uglier. And uglier. So ugly I could barely bear to look at it. Ow! Mr. and Mrs. Twit were a very happy couple, but seldom happy at the same time. For what really gave them enjoyment was insulting one another. One day, Mr. Twit announced, I've been thinking, dead heart. I'm going to heart I'm going to run a circus. To what, you quit? Run a circus. Run a circus. You couldn't run an egg and spoon. You wait, you old trout. I will train animals. Animals? What animals? Monkeys. Monkeys? Where will you find monkeys? In the rain. Of deepest, darkest Africa! <laughs> it's 
the roly poly bird. Look, children, the roly poly bird. Hello, Muggle Wong. Hello, Mrs. Muggle Wong. Hello, little Muggle Wongs. Hello, Hello roly, poly roly poly bird. What a marvelous, magical morning. The twins prepared the muggle ones for work. Tooth. Tooth. 
tickle your palate. Bird pie! <laughs> Oh yes, they like them quite a lot. I'll do it! I'll do it! I'll do it! I'll do it! Oh, all right then, you do it! Thank <laughs> you. 
Yes, you do. Bananas and monkey nuts. Coming right up! Clear off, you birds! When we want an audience, hell and bite one! Mr. Twib is very happy with his monkey's progress. His happiness is not shared by the monkey monks. I feel giddy. I feel dizzy. Take deep breaths, children. Oh, Mogulong, why does that man keep making us do such horrible and dignified things? I don't know, dear, but I do know that if we stay here any longer, the children may grow ill. They may even die. Die? <laughs> We must all try to be brave, like the roly poly bird said when we... When she said goodbye. Try, children, yes? Okay! We'll try! <laughs> we got to get out of this cage. But how? The door! The man opens it with a special thing. He puts it and turns it and the door opens. What's it called? A key! The key. We have to steal the key! Yes! But how? I don't know. They're only allowed to eat upside down. All right, all right. Where's the key? Upside down. I know, I know. Keep your hair on. <laughs> all right, come on, you ugly lot. Upside down, you're no breakfast. Ah, it's 
exploration. We can climb up that tree. We can plan a safety up there. Wait, no! Why? There's glue on the tree. Glue? What's glue? Glue. <laughs> it's stuff. The twigs must have put it there. But why? To catch the birds. Ah! To catch the birds? We know that they often perch there. Why would they want to catch them? To put them in bird pie. Ah! To put them in a bird pie? Yes. Barbaric. Brutal. Beastly. They may fly back soon. We have to warn them. Indeed we must. How? What would we think? What Ah! Inspiration. When the birds are very near, near enough for them to hear, we'll shout this rhyme loud and clear. Their sticky stuff fall over the tree. Uh, if you land in the branches, you'll never get free. So fly away, fly away, stay up high, or you'll finish up tonight in a hot bird pie. Got it? Yes. Good. Uh, now, to make sure we stay at the same time, uh, I'll give a signal. How about this? Tweet! Got it? <laughs> Let's try it all together now. Wait for the signal. <laughs> Down with the twist! Twist, twist, twist! It was agreed 
that. Down with the twins! Would be the first target. If the twins could be defeated, the birds would be safe and the muggle ones would be free. Down with the twins! Squash down, you witch girl, walrus! It was 